Right, I'm just here with Adam Melbourne, curator at Tracy Village Cricket Club in Darwin, Northern Territory. Yeah, Melbourne, how are you? Well, thanks, Jack. Thanks hey, for having me. No worries. I've been uh, following your work closely over the last sort of uh, 18 months, I think it is. Yep. And uh, if, as we can see, square here is looking pretty good. You're about to mark up, I assume. Yeah, not far from marking up for A grade tomorrow. Um, two day, first day. So, yeah. Um, hopefully she plays all right. I yeah, think mate. it will. So. Been, been getting pretty uh, good reports all season from yeah. from, from people playing here. And uh, obviously, it's yeah, nice. been tough. With your lads not probably being as performing that well on here, but still it's good to see some scores out here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh, look, I think, uh, yeah, the look, it's played well for, and it's been a good deck for, you know, between both innings and both um, sort of days and that sort of thing. So it's been pretty even track. So, um, yeah, look, I think the boys will be right. They'll, um, you know, they're, they're starting to get together with, you know, good little crew. So, um, yeah, I think, I think, um, We'll see what they do with the flick of the toss and see how they go tomorrow, I reckon. Yes, yeah, they'll be right. No worries. And just so, talk us in how you got into this, how curating made. Uh, well, I believe you got no turf qualifications from there. Uh... Absolutely zero. Uh, so, look, honestly, um, the reason I started doing this is because of the, the um, condition this square was in. Um, uh, it was terrible, to be honest. And, um, you know, you could... You could win a game comfortably on this ground, batting first, making 100, 120, um, crumbling, falling to bits, chunks falling out of it, and it just, you know, it's not a good look for the club or the competition, the association, or anything like that. And um, yeah, look, I, I do fondly remember the days of this deck being so great to bat on, play on, and you know, there was always a good cricket wicket. So a bit for bowl, a bit for batter, and that sort of thing. And that's really my aim, is to get back to that. Yeah. Um, so I was driven into it just by wanting, you know, it to be what it can be, basically. Yeah, yeah I, I finally remember those days. Maybe not so great for a bowler sometimes, but... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. There is There was always a pretty good deck out here, particularly uh, during the sort of like 2000s or late yeah, 90s sure. through yep. to uh, 2010, 2012, so on. Absolutely. And uh, look, I, um, I've got a mate who uh, sees photos of this deck quite often and he'll tell me uh, typical opening batter's curator. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says he loves a batting curator. So yep. uh, anyway, you read into that what you want. But uh, yeah. You always held a handy stick from memory, so you yeah. <laughs> uh, know. Just a battler, Jake. Just a battler. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you've had some challenges here, I know, so I curated here a few years ago and you know, probably one thing you've said to me just before I was that you've been working over on the off-season, which mm. look, I'm not based in Darwin, so it wasn't something I could yep. continue to do, yep. um, but that's probably one of the main reasons I think you know, you've, yep. you've been able to learn a bit over that off-season. Also, what are sort of the main challenges here you've had at the moment? Uh, following on from last year, I guess going um, well water's been a big issue for us here um, the supply of water and that to the square and the oval for that matter um, so that's been our number one issue um, the other challenges have been well removing like weeds like the abundance of weeds um, uh, that's what you know looking at this now it's hard to believe where it's come from to be honest Mate, it's very um, pure just going over it earlier like it's uh, there's always <laughs> big 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 weed pressure in the, in the tropics so you've done really looking for them, yeah okay. <laughs> um yeah yeah that's right so i mean well weeds love fertilizer too right so, yeah yeah <laughs> so um yeah getting rid of them out of the square um the the bottom corner of the deck down here um that was a, a really big challenge for us um there was literally no grass at that end um, halfway through last year, towards the end of the year. Um, couldn't grow it last year, couldn't get it to go. Um, no matter what we tried, whatever. So we, I basically just left it um, and waited for uh, wet season to come. Um, we, we, you know, we scarified it back, um, seeded it and uh, top dressed that end of the wicket. and. and um, being a good Darwin wet season, of course grass is going to grow, so uh, we're lucky enough to live here where, you know, if you can't grow it, you're not trying basically, so, well you don't have True. to try. Um, so, mean, and it's come through really well, so, yeah. And I think one of the key aspects is anybody can grow grass, mate, it's getting it to come back, and you know, you've 
yeah. week to week here. You've you've been yeah. growing it back, mate. So that's a sign of a good curator there, or yeah. good grass man. So but recovery. Yeah. Like, um, that's probably the thing I'm stoked with the most this year is recovery of the decks. Like, um, so you see the one we used last week. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously foot marks. That's pretty standard, but um, the rest of the deck has just come back up um, beautifully. Um, I probably don't fertilise and do stuff the conventional way in which a program would tell you to do things. I've sort of come up with my own sort of um, regime, I guess, but uh, I found is working, so <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll stick it's to it. It's green, it's healthy. It's green, it's healthy. Um, it's bouncing yeah. back, so. Yeah, and it's bouncing back, which has been the most pleasing. And I've, to be honest, I've probably left a little bit more grass on it this year to mm. allow it to come back a little better, given where it's coming from. You know, it needs a chance to just keep building and building and building. So, um, probably mowed it a little higher this year yep. than, than um, certainly last year, but um, but that's all about just making sure they're a couple yeah, good. That's experience as well, mate, as well. So, Great. you know, I've, I've always, I started out, you know, that three mil sort of yep. traditional back in the day when you yep. just had white wickets and they were flat, nothing yep. in it, but nowadays, you know, the better tracks generally are, play, play a bit longer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, I mean, they're still rock hard underneath, aren't they? So, yeah. I mean, no, that's yeah. a change. So, yeah. I've just seen uh, on the Vibro Max there, mate, you've uh, taken off the lid on it, mate. You're trying to get a tan, <laughs> or what's happening? Yeah, look. Um, Is the service in your right? No, look, a bit of rust got into her and she just about shook off, and, you know, it's about ready to fall on someone, so yeah. I thought I'd better take, <laughs> take it off before, uh, you know. Have an eye health and safety yeah, review yeah. over here. You know we don't want that happening. So uh, no, nah, she's uh, yeah, she's 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 bare at the moment, mate. Yeah. So that's work in progress. Yeah. yeah. Just just yeah. another job, mate. Maybe it's a, a really light like roller, mate. It yeah. does a great press. It does. It's really good, actually. Um, so I'm lucky enough this year to have I've got my uncle um, helping me. Um, just lives around the corner, and uh, you know he's 80 plus, he's and tough. you know worked worked machines his whole life. He you know, got tremendous feel for rolling wickets and rolling. He just he just knows what he's doing. So um, he quite often spends a lot of hours um, rolling it while I'm doing other stuff on this square or mowing or you know weeding or spraying or whatever you know um, to allow me to do that, which has helped you know progress this probably a little quicker than what I could if I was doing it myself. So um, yeah, I'm lucky enough to have Uncle John's help. Yeah, he's champion. So yeah, he's Easy. been he's been awesome. He so, sits on a roller for you a bit, does he? Bloody oath he does. Yeah. I can't right. get him off it. Can't get him off it, Jack. No, it's sick. It's awesome. It's key having a good good ride on roller. It's it's pretty easy to get blokes on there to help you out. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had to. Sit, one of the A grade boys come up and have a try to send it. Yeah. And thought, oh yeah, I can do this. I yeah. said, oh, I really can. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, good. And just uh, tell us a bit about your yeah, techniques at all. We're just starting your track or anything. Is there anything uh, you you just sort of, everyone's just yeah. feel each each week? No, look, I like to stick to a a, a routine. I, I'm. You know, um, although in saying that, I have done this one slightly different this week, um, uh, just to try something. Yeah. You know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So um, I think, as I mentioned to you before, I think that's been another key factor to my success here. Is I'm not scared to have a go. I'll yeah. just do it. If it. Doesn't work. We'll just keep moving on, and we'll do something else. Okay. So but, you know, um, usual week will be Wednesday night. Uh, oh, well, Tuesday we mow, um, put the string line out, mark where we sort of want the pitch on the, on the square. Um, yeah, decide exactly where we're going. Uh, don't do too much until sort of Wednesday. Um, this week sort of roll, did a wet roll late in the Arvo, actually yep. this week on Wednesday. Perfect. Um, wouldn't usually do that, but um, just to flatten it out and try and get the mowing a little bit more even. Yep. Even today, um, yesterday, so. Um, so Thursdays is generally um, is obviously you know light spray, mow down to the height that we're looking at, and um, and then it's just you know rolling. Um, you know we might roll it for 20 minutes, half an hour, jump off, let it set for half an hour, a little bit more water, then we'll jump on and roll it again, and you know just that process through. Um, but. Yeah, it's all about timing, isn't it? I mean, you've got to be under the hot sun while you're doing it, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah which definitely. Is why you point out the vibrate max <laughs> lid <laughs> missing, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but that's all right. Um, but yeah, so nothing. No, look, nothing too out there. Um, 
I wouldn't thought it'd be too much different from what the other guys are doing, but I find I don't need to roll with that particular roller a lot. Yep. To get to a certain point, there's no point going any further because you just you waste the diesel. Mate, so I think I looked up uh, the stats on that machine. I think it's uh, 1.2 in each barrel, like it's even distribution, so it's yep. two and a half or three, and you're getting yep. basically two two presses with one pass. So it's yep. Yeah, it's, yep. uh, it's a pretty good roller. Uh, yeah. yeah, it does the job. And the yeah, width is, is good, good as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's good. Uh, if it was six inches wider, it would be magnificent. Yeah, so yeah, just three, <laughs> yeah. Not, not three point two. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyway, that's all good. I'm sure yeah. you know that, Jack, being on there. But um, yeah, so uh, we'll mark it up. Generally Friday afternoon, um, uh, Uncle John will come down actually um, quite often on Friday afternoon, and he will. Give it another light spray, um, if not a little bit more, just to let it soak in, and then and he'll roll it again for another half hour or so. On a, uh, under, again under the, you know, sort of 1.30, 2 o'clock ish under the sun sort of thing. Uh, and then uh, I generally finish work, get down here and mark lines up and all that sort of stuff, and um, have a little trundle on it, see yeah, what she's see. like. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I've always yeah. always like throwing it down every now and then, especially if you think you've made a good one, just to see what it's like. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, and you know, I'll, you know, it's not spinning. Well, I spun it square on Friday, so don't talk to me. <laughs> 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 so uh, yeah, yeah. So no, all good. It's. Um, and I guess um, the rest of the square, I'll water it tonight. Um, I'll water it, just hand water, quick water, make sure there's, you know, it's not missing out or anything uh, tonight. And I'll also do it tomorrow night. Yeah. And then the irrigation's back on Sunday. So it's not really a day goes past that it's not getting at least a little bit on it. Um, on the square that's, you know, that's not being used. So, so you're down um, here seven days a week, are you? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Irrigation Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, okay, easy, yeah, yeah. easy. That's good, mate. <laughs> well, my wife might say differently, Jack. <laughs> Probably, uh, yeah, a little too much time. But anyway, you know, you've got to put it in if you want results. And a little bit stubborn like that. So, yeah, it's, it's got to happen. So. Easy. And uh, like just your equipment in general, I know you've, you've re refurbished a couple of things. And you've, yeah, yeah. Obviously yeah. mechanically minded, so that's always good yeah. trade as a curator, particularly in Darwin where stuff... Uh, probably isn't as prominent or easy to get access to people who, yeah. who can do the job. So, yeah. yep. you going alright with that? Yeah, good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've refurbed a few machines. Um, the Scarifier, just the, the um, uh, I can't think of what it's called now. What's that one called? The uh, Turf. Oh, yeah, Turf Tech. Turf Tech, yeah, yeah. the Turf Tech Scarifier. So, um, put it in your colours, didn't you, as well? Did you use that? Nah, like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Original, original. Good colours, original. Yeah, it's okay. gone original. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stick it her up. She's all original. Yeah, she really did. Good. So, um, yeah, so we, we did that. That was basically, you know, that had blades bent like that, mm, yeah. you know, in it. And, you know, it just, you know, they're either not touching the turf or you, you know, it was just taking chunks or whatever. So, yeah, we weren't. I was just originally going to do the blades and that on it, but just stripped it back and just um, did the whole thing basically. So she's like a new machine. She's good for, you know, whoever takes over from me. Yeah. Keep going. I think so, those uh, bent blades are from the piston valves. Correct. <laughs> they get, yeah, correct. Get lost. <laughs> I'll tell you what. When I did this ring around, like the um, the grass around the edge earlier, um, probably dug up maybe 18 of them with the turf cutter. Yep. yep. They were everywhere. It was just like, holy shit. <laughs> but anyway, I think I've got most of them now. So um, pretty much, well, I think we're only the sort of the, the ones we've put in at the ends, hopefully. But um, yeah, And so yeah. The, the turf collar you put in, you did that, when did you do that? Um, yeah, that so late last year or was that earlier this year? Nah, that was earlier this, this year. year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, earlier this year. Probably, oh, when was that? Maybe March, April sort of time. Um, just coming off wet, which is, as you know, Jack, things just shoot out of the ground so good time to do it the ground was still soft and that so um just stop you know the encroach of all the um all yep. the grass which was sort of getting out of control and oh, taking over the square so also helps with uh, just creating that sort of weed barrier as well so Correct. yeah yeah that's yeah, no, yep. excellent so work just like i uh, being a golfer sort of just likened to it looking at greens yeah you know you've got your collar you've got your green it's like you know it's put two and two together it's sort of you know sort of made sense so let's do it yeah it's beautiful yeah no worries uh and uh you still having to hit yourself at all no no <laughs> although i get asked every single week but no i'm not yeah. um 
Like, I'm getting pressure to play now, to play with my young bloke, Robbie, who's, uh, who's taking a liking to cricket, which is good. So, uh, and my other young bloke plays as well. But, um, and my wife plays as well. We're a cricket household, yeah. Jack. Um, so, to come and play a few games with him in seniors and whatever else. So, never say never, mate. Never say never. You know what it's like. It's a, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, that's probably just to finish up. Uh, the, yeah, you know, Heroes, you always get asked like the, by the captain or the whoever mm. about how the pitch is going to play. Have you had any uh, <laughs> any feedback which you think was all like, how do you say it? So, this is where you've said something and the player, captain or whoever has come back saying, oh, no, I didn't do that. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no. Uh, I'm generally fairly reserved with what I say and what I... I mean, I think I'd like to think I know what's going to happen like for instance on that deck we used last week I sort of knew this end was going to be low um, just uh, given the area in which the main playing area was and where it's come from and what it is uh, yep. you know underneath and all that sort of thing so I sort of knew that was going to be a little bit low so I was just telling things like that you know but I generally let them make their own decisions yeah. and that sort of thing so I you know um, don't just say bat first every time or <laughs> um, no, no, not at all. No, 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 not at all, Jack. <laughs> That's you, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no. <laughs> but, um, no, look, I haven't had any instances. I've been, look, I've had, uh, how do you put this? I guess I've had people ask for things. Yeah. Uh, my answer is I stick to my process week in, week out. This is how I do it. When I'm finished, you're welcome. Yeah. I think so, that's probably one of the big, biggest challenges in the game is sort of yep. uh, captains or certain coaches and things asking for something, and then if they go change it every week, then it's. Yep. You yeah, know, there's I, no, look, you, there's no guarantees that you can do it either, yeah, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, I could attempt to do something and completely stuff it up, yeah. you know, and that, then that doesn't reflect on that captain playing yeah. or whatever. It, that yeah, reflects on me as a curator. So, um, I don't like to take that chance, to be honest. Yeah. So, um, it's very cool. my reputation in, in, you know, in the chopping block. So, um, but yeah, that, it's definitely out there. As you know, Jack, it's <laughs> yeah. out there. <laughs> but uh, no, the guys, Tracy, have been really good. So, um, uh, it, it's been, you know, positive, which yeah. has been good. Yeah. So, That's especially right. from the older guys who've been around the club a bit and understand what this was a couple yeah. of years ago and sort of um, know where it's come from and... And how well it's playing now. So, yeah. Oh, mate, it's been yeah. awesome. I really appreciate your time and I've uh, been loving following the journey and you're sharing, yeah, cheers, your, <laughs> sharing your pictures and all that. So, I hope you keep keep at it and, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, you've, you've got got a great attitude for it all and doing yeah. doing great things, mate. So, yeah. I oh, appreciate it, Jack. Good Easy. Thanks, cheers. Mate.